All right, we're gonna do a quick video here at ETR Truck Center on an oil pressure issue on a C15 Caterpillar. Customer was driving this Peterbilt yesterday, said that uh, his oil pressure dropped to zero. And we're in neutral. We're gonna crank it up and watch the oil pressure. There's no check engine light on. Oil pressure's slowly coming up. It's about 40, which is not bad at idle. But I don't like how slow it was coming up. So let's see here what we've got. Showing 43 pounds of oil pressure. And the manual gauge is showing about the same. We'll turn the key off. And let's watch what happens when we crank it up. I do not have any codes for this oil pressure code. So for testing purposes, we're gonna, we're gonna install a known good oil pressure sensor right here. I'll let the camera focus. And you can also see where I put the manual gauge. It goes right in the, the manifold at the oil pressure sensor. So I'm gonna swap this sensor out and let's do a little comparison. All right, I've swapped the sensor out. Very basic tooling, just a 9 16 and 5 8 wrench. I did have a known good sensor that we put in there. So let's crank it up and see what happens. Before we do any more troubleshooting, I wanted to talk oil pressure sensors in general on these CAD engines. This engine you see here is an SDP and a 379 Peterbilt. Uh, I got another 379 here. This is old school 40 pin CAD engine. This is a 3406E, a 1LW serial number prefix. And you can see right here on the passenger side of the engine, right below the turbo, that's the oil pressure sensor on this particular engine. And then, in another bay, we have another 379 Peterbilt. This is a MXS C15. And just so y'all know, the oil pressure sensor is right in the same location as the truck outside in the SDP. The one on the right is the oil pressure sensor, right down in here. And the one to the left of it, just so y'all know, that is your barometric pressure sensor. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys or girls are liking these videos. And please, please like and subscribe. We want to continue to do these videos for y'all. Thank you. All right, we're going to run this engine up in temperature. We're about 150 degrees right now. We've got our RPM set to 1700. As you see, both our manual gauges are set right at 60 PSI on your oil pressure. Let's see what happens. All right, we've been running now for about 10 minutes. We're up to operating temperature. The thermostat's just open. We're about 195 degrees. As you can see, both gauges are pretty much spot on still. I haven't found any oil pressure dropping intermittently or anything like that. So I'm gonna bump it back down to idle. Let's see what it is at idle. Okay, we're about... The manual gauge is about 22 PSI at idle at operating temperature. There's, that is perfectly fine. And the Peterbilt gauge is slowly coming down, reading about the same. So, so at idle, we're within Caterpillar specifications on oil pressure at idle. We're gonna go up to full throttle. That's 2120 RPMs. Manual gauge about 56 psi and about the same on the Peterbilt gauge. I don't 
honestly nothing wrong with this at this point. The customer just had the oil and filter change. The oil level is good. This truck has been sitting. Uh, maybe there's some uh, issues with the oil pressure gauge itself right here in the dash on the Peterbilt side. But as far as the checking it with a manual gauge, that is the, the important piece here. And we've got good oil pressure all the way around. So we're gonna we're gonna turn him loose and have him watch it really closely. Thank you again for watching.